Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chegudero and today we shall continue on Unix 6 Spot. For your information, this is going to be the second lesson which will be on page 64 on your student's book. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to read for specific information. As usual, before we proceed to our lesson today, let me communicate with you first the framework of our lesson. First, we shall read and identify the spots that are mentioned. And after that, we shall state whether statements are true or false based on the text that you have read. And finally, we are going to answer some simple comprehension questions together. Without further ado, let us move on to the first activity of our lesson today which is to read and identify the types of spots. The text that we are going to read today is about Olympics timeline. While we are reading later on, I hope you can identify how many spots and what are the spots that are mentioned in the text. Now let's start to read this together. Olympics timeline 1896. The first modern Olympic Games were in Greece. There were silver medals for winners and bronze medals for second place. There weren't any gold medals. Winners here means permanent. Permanent. 1900. Women weren't competitors until 1900. That year, there were more competitors than spectators. Competitors means per saying. Per saying. Spectators means per nonton. Per nonton. 1912. There was an 11 hour 40 minute wrestling match between Martin Klein and Alfred Asukainen. It was the longest competition in Olympic history. 1916. In 1916, 1940, and 1944, there weren't any games because of war. In 1920, there wasn't an Olympic flag until 1920. The flag of every country in the world has got one of the five Olympic colors in it. In 1924, in the first Winter Olympics in France, the Canadian ice hockey team were champions with 122 goals. In 1936, 12-year-old swimmer Inge Sorensen from Denmark was the youngest medalist in Olympic history. Swimmer here means perenang. Swimmer means perenang. Medalist means permenang pingat. Medalist means permenang pingat. In 1960, Abibi Bikela from Ethiopia was the first African to win a gold medal after running a marathon without shoes. In 1988, table tennis is one of the most popular sports in the world, but it wasn't in the Olympics until 1988. In 2012, Hiroshi Hokusu was a competitor in a horse riding competition at the age of 71. And in 2016, in Rio, golf and rugby were the first events in nearly 100 years. What are the spots that were mentioned just now in the text? I bet you already have the answer. Now let's try to cross check together. There was an 11 hour 40 minute wrestling match between Martin Klein and Alfred Askinen. It was the longest competition in Olympic history. What was the spot mentioned here? It's wrestling. Next. In 1924, in the first Winter Olympics in France, the Canadian ice hockey team were champions with 122 goals. What was the sports mentioned here? It's ice hockey. Number 3. In 1936, 12-year-old swimmer Inge Sorensen from Denmark was the youngest medalist in Olympic history. Since Inge Sorensen was a swimmer, means that he was involved in swimming. In 1960, Abibi Bikela from Ethiopia was the first African to win a gold medal after running a marathon without shoes. What was the sports mentioned here? It's running. And in 2012, 
Hiroshi Hokkaido was a competitor in a horse riding competition at the age of 71. Obviously, the sports mentioned here was horse riding. Next, in Rio, golf and rugby were the first events in nearly 100 years. There were two sports being mentioned here. One is golf and another one is rugby. So did you manage to get all the answers correct? If so, well done. Now let's move on to the second activity of our lesson today, which is to read and state whether the statements are true or false. Now let's go through each statement here before we go for listening. Number one, there were gold medals in the first Olympic Games. Number two, there weren't any games in 1916. Number three, Inga Sorensen was a swimmer from Ethiopia. Number four, Abibi Bikela was a marathon runner. Number five, golf and rugby were Olympic sports for the first time in 2012. Now, which statement here is true and which statement here is false? Let's listen to the audio while reading the text on page 64 on your student's book. Are you ready? Let's start. Unit 6. Reading. Exercise 2. Olympics Timeline. 1896. The first modern Olympic Games were in Greece. There were silver medals for winners and bronze medals for second place. There weren't any gold medals. 1900. Women weren't competitors until 1900. That year, there were more competitors than spectators. 1912. There was an 11-hour, 40-minute wrestling match between Martin Klein and Alfred Asikainen. It was the longest competition in Olympic history. 1916. In 1916, 1940 and 1944, there weren't any games because of war. 1920. There wasn't an Olympic flag until 1920. The flag of every country in the world has got one of the five Olympic colours in it. 1924. In the first Winter Olympics in France, the Canadian ice hockey team were champions with 122 goals. 1936. Twelve-year-old swimmer Inga Sorensen from Denmark was the youngest medalist in Olympic history. 1960. Abibi Bikila from Ethiopia was the first African to win a gold medal after running a marathon without shoes. 1988. Table tennis is one of the most popular sports in the world but it wasn't in the Olympics until 1988. 2012. Hiroshi Hoketsu was a competitor in a horse riding competition at the age of 71. 2016. In Rio, golf and rugby were events for the first time in nearly 100 years. So that's the end of the audio. Now let's get back to state whether the statements are true or false. Let's look at statement number one. There were gold medals in the first Olympic Games. Is that true or false? The answer is false. There were no gold medals in the first Olympic Games. There were only silver and bronze medals. Number two, there weren't any games in 1916. Is that true or false? It's true, there weren't any games in 1916 because there was a war. Number 3. Inga Sorensen was a swimmer from Ethiopia. Is that true? No, it's false. Inga Sorensen was a swimmer from Denmark. Number 4. Abibi Bikila was a marathon runner. True or false? It's true. Number 5. Golf and rugby were Olympic sports for the first time in 2012. This statement is false. 
golf and rugby were Olympic sports for the first time in 2016. So did you manage to get all the answers correct? If so, another well done. Good job for you. Now let's move on to the last activity of our lesson today, where I'm going to test your understanding by answering some simple WH questions. Take a look at the first question. Where were the first modern Olympic Games? Based on the text, in 1896, the first modern Olympic Games were in Greece. Number two, why weren't there any games in 1916, 1940, and 1944? As you can see from the text in 1916 here, there weren't any games because of war. Number three, who was the youngest medalist in Olympic history? As you can see in 1936, there was a swimmer named Inge Sorensen and he was only 12 years old back then and he was from Denmark. So Inge Sorensen from Denmark was the youngest medalist in Olympic history. Number four, who was the first African to win a gold medal? In 1960, Abibi Bikela from Ethiopia was the first African to win a gold medal. And this is very unforgettable because he was running a marathon without shoes. Number five, how old was Hiroshi Hokusu when he was an Olympian? Now Hiroshi Hokusu is another Olympian who is very unforgettable in Olympics because he was the oldest Olympian in Olympic history. So as you can see from the text in 2012 here, Hiroshi Hokatsu was a competitor in a horse riding competition at the age of 71. So he was 71 years old when he was an Olympian. So did you manage to get all these answers correct, even though it's without complete sentence? If so, congratulations. So now I have an exercise for you. You can just feel free to scan at the QR code right in front of your screen, or you can click on the link that I have prepared at the video description below. If you're a teacher and you would like to make a copy of this Google Form exercise, feel free to just scan at the QR code right in front of your screen, or you can click at the link that I have provided in the video description below as well. As usual, don't forget to visit my Facebook page Chegudero and give it a like if possible. Subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell so that you will always get notified whenever I update my playlist. With that, I would like to thank you for watching and I shall see you at the next video. Bye!